happy Monday. Thank you for joining me this week. I join you in the lovely airport, getting ready to head off to the future retail conference in Miami. If you're gonna be there, make sure you stop by and say hello. Would love the chance to get to meet you. Now, for our weekly wisdom, in honor of Valentine's Day, this week, we're going to talk about your love language. So I promise I'm not gonna get too mushy, but what is love language? So love language is a quiz that you can take online. Normally it's done for romantic relationships. And what it does is it helps you identify your partner's love language. So you're communicating in their language instead of your own. For an example, my love language is acts of service. My husband's love language is quality time. Whenever we first got together, I was speaking in my language and he was speaking in his language, but it wasn't translating very well across. So we felt like we were giving our all to the relationship, but our partner wasn't receiving it. After we used it for us to great success, I wondered if I could use it in a professional environment. So I started using it with some of my cast members and I would ask them to answer the questions as though they were in the professional environment, not the romantic environment. And I found that I was able to get almost immediate results because I was adapting my leadership style to their communication style. And when I started rewarding them through their love language, they could hear it and understand it. So it wasn't wasted effort. It was very efficient and it got much better results with the relationships, which was critical. Because as you know, you can only be a leader if people choose to follow you. So thank you very much for joining me this week. Like I said, you're gonna be in Miami. Definitely stop by and say hi. And don't forget, you got this. Happy Valentine's Day.